Would you like to create an intake form within Salesforce? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my Salesforce account. Now, if you don't already have JotForm linked with your Salesforce account, be sure to grab it for free in the App Exchange. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over into my JotForm tab. And for this example, we're gonna create a brand new form. So I'm gonna choose to create a form. And we have a lot of different options. We can start from scratch, we can create a Salesforce form, but because we wanted to create a very specific type of form, I wanna see what templates JotForm has. So I'm gonna use the use template option. Then over on the left-hand side, we can search in all the templates. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a search for intake. And as of right now, it looks like there's 75 intake forms. So let's go ahead and preview this fitness client intake form. Perfect, I think this is great. Let's go ahead and use this template. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you're utilizing a template or even starting from scratch, these are not integrated with Salesforce yet. We have to do that. So over on the right-hand side, underneath our form designer, we see our Salesforce integrations. Let's go ahead and get this integrated. Now, the first thing it's gonna wanna know is, do we wanna create a brand new record or do we want to find an existing record? So for this, let's go ahead and create a new record. And we're gonna put this in our account object. And we can see that Salesforce has already mapped its fields with JotForms form fields. Now for the account name, because our client name is a first and last name, it has two fields. It's wanting to know, does it want first, last, or both together? So let's go ahead and choose that client name. And then if there are any additional fields that you want to map, you can do that as well. But let's go ahead and do next. Now it wants to know, do we want it to look for existing records just in case, so that way we can avoid duplicates. So we're gonna turn that on and let's have it search for that account name. We'll do save. Now, if we click on the client name, we can now see that it is linked and integrated with Salesforce in our account object with the account name. So let's go ahead and give this a test. I'm gonna go into the top right-hand corner. We'll choose preview form. Then I'm gonna head over to fill form. All right, good to go. So we'll head down to the bottom, do a quick signature and we'll submit. And we're good to go. We'll head down to the bottom and we'll do a quick signature and then submit. Now, the great thing about this is not only is this now in our account object within Salesforce, it also lives in JotForm as well. So let's go ahead and turn off the preview. I'm gonna head to the form builder tab right up here and let's switch it over to tables. And here we can see Joey's information and we can scroll all the way down. We can see everything that he chose as well as his signature. Now let's jump over to our account tab and take a look at him there. And here he is right up here at the top. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any other questions about how to create an intake form within Salesforce with JotForm, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.